This video is about something very unpractical and uh, that causes probably more harm than good but it was a fun experience to, to try it nonetheless. So as you can already see, I've put a servo over here. This is a standard Metal Gear servo, the cheap ones. It works uh, pretty good. And uh, I've put a plank of wood here and a transformer just because that's my mass. So the goal here is to swing the mass one side or the other at the same time as the steering to try to see if that can help carve or uh, help you get out of a sticky situation or something like that. So uh, I was not expecting the results I got. Uh, I told myself that uh, it was probably a bad idea because that's added mass and if you flip over that could destroy your servo. But uh, with the snow I have, there's a crust of ice right here and about, I don't know, five centimeters of snow or something like that. I had to take out the handlebar to make it all fit. And uh, the mass goes pretty much where you would go if you were on a snowmobile. That in your center of mass would be that. So that's uh, why it was made like this. So let me show you how that works. It's almost impossible to dip over, so that's a good thing. As long as you don't go too fast. It really helps when you're side hilling. And what I mean by side hilling, I don't mean doing side hill. I mean more like uh, driving on a slope. Usually you wouldn't be able to uh, climb back up, but with this, apparently you can. That would not have been possible without it. My paddles are pretty uh, beaten up as well. So they're not as grippy as they used to be. Come on. There we go. That's a lot more fun. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Uh, let's take it to a little bit more of a hard place to get. Almost. Oh, I made a mistake there. Oh no, I'm done. This is the first time I'm trying this system, so it's needing some uh, getting used to. If you think the video was going pretty slow paced, you'd be right because I was running a 3S LiPo on a system that can take 6. So the goal wasn't to go fast or do anything crazy, it was just to test that swing system and uh, yeah. That being said, it's done pretty good. Although I do believe there is some good reason to have a system like this, I don't think it's, uh, it's worth the added weight and higher center of gravity and uh, similar reasons. Plus you cannot really do some side hill with this, you would have to probably invert the servo. And it's quite difficult to control by itself, independently from the front direction. So I don't think that's a, that much of a added bonus. Just learn to drive without one and that's probably going to do pretty well for you. 
Although, all that being said, I still believe it's a good idea to test it, see what it does. And uh, I'm glad I tried it. It's incredible how many people suggested me to do this, but uh, I would have probably tried it anyways. But I still believe that for the added benefits, there's more downside than uh, upsides for this. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.